Yeah. Packet flow means with the packet which is getting initiated from the source and uh, if it is on uh, matting, then all that NAT and uh, and the end, end where it is going to get delivered, that will be the, mm. like, a, that, that will be like a packet flow. Okay, let me tell you what, what I mean to say. Okay. So, for an example, this is your firewall. Okay. And this is your, I, it is connected with ISP. Okay. And this is your switch. And this switch has connected few users. Okay. Let me create one user here. Now, okay, this is one user. Okay, let's say user A. Now, if user A wants to communicate with one server, which is connected on this ISP, let me create that as well. So actually my pen is not connected. I lost my pen somewhere. That's why I'm drawing these all things like that. The next class will get an, another pen. Okay. So, if this is the design where you have one firewall switch and switch is connected with one user, and this is one server. Okay. Let's say this is web server. Okay. Any web server or. Okay. Now, when packet initiates from user A, and received by this firewall on this this internal interface now how your packet means how your firewall going to perform inspection before this firewall sends out this packet towards this server and what about the next packet which is coming from outside to inside that is called packet flow means how your firewall going to process that packet okay so if i talk about a checkpoint firewall checkpoint firewall has a different way uh, to handle the packet okay palo alto has a different architecture it means when your palo alto firewall receive packet your palo alto firewall will uh, take care of that packet in a different way okay every firewall has a different architecture even if i talk about your uh, check uh, uh, 48 fortinet firewall that also that firewall also has a different way to perform this action okay so anyone anyone has any idea of any firewalls any firewall i'm talking about i'm not talking about specifically for checkpoint any firewall packet flow if you know that Uh, it will be the same way which you mentioned. It would be the same way which you mentioned. Yes, same way, definitely, because you know my firewall is always in between ISP and access layer. Now, how your how my firewall? Let's say my firewall receive a packet from user A. Now, how my firewall going to process that packet? Let's say this is user A, okay? Now the IP for user A is 192.168.100.10, okay? This is the IP for this user. Guys, this is very important interview questions. Question, if you face any interview, any firewall interview, definitely you will get this question. So this is your IP, okay, and your gateway. One six eight dot hundred dot one, okay. So where is your gateway? Your gateway is this one, this in internal interface, okay.
the what uh, if user a sends packet and it reaches to this interface now what is the first action your firewall going to take okay this this is the one question and next question is if you are receiving a packet from isp from here okay let's say here we have uh, one server so this server sending some packets towards your firewall and now here we have one vpn tunnel between this server and this firewall correct and uh, means that would be an encrypted packet okay if your firewall receive this packet now what is the next step your firewall going to take what is the first step okay let me tell you all those things okay uh if i talk about Palo Alto firewall uh, fortigate firewall all those firewalls okay every firewall has a different way okay in Palo Alto firewall we have fast path processing slow path processing in cisco asa we have very very simple way to process a packet but in checkpoint that packet flow is also different okay so let me let us today talk about packet flow okay we'll start from packet flow then we'll move to next uh, next steps okay so now for packet flow i have opened this document if you want you can uh, let me share this url with you okay you can take it with you okay we just need this image to understand the packet flow because you know if we go uh, through all this theoretical part that would be a boring class for you okay you will start feeling boring okay so let me open this image as well okay then later we'll talk about these all images okay one by one so first let us understand from basic okay now let's say my firewall received a packet here okay now once my firewall receive a packet okay so guys uh, can anyone tell me what are the contents of a packet Even know I uh, the content of IP header. Okay. Okay, guys. Okay, we got disconnected. Okay, I was talking about. Anyone know what are the what all things we have in uh, in a packet? The source address, hmm. destination address, hmm. data. Yes, correct. Okay, so the first thing is source IP, destination IP, and source port destination port okay now after that this is your let's say this is your payload okay payload or you can say it data okay now what about this this one is your let's say we we encrypted okay we encrypted this packet with the VPN. Okay. So this is your VPN encryption. Okay. Under VPN, we have uh, so many uh, means like uh, these type of uh, uh, means uh, these type of points, I would say, or these type of columns. Okay. So basically, what I'm, I'm saying here is this is your IP header, this part. This is your IP header part, okay, and this is your data. So after data, you have IP header. Now this complete packet, 
encrypted by VPN. Correct? Whenever your server, this server sends any packet, your firewall receive that packet in encrypted form. Clear? Now, here in this packet flow, you can see that we have received a packet here. Okay. And you can see that the first step is decrypt. It means we have received a VPN encrypted packet. So guys, whenever you see, whenever your firewall receive a VPN encrypted packet, whether it is from SSL VPN, TLS, any protocol, okay, first your firewall going to decrypt it so that it can see what is inside the IP header and for content inspection, it is going to check the payload as well. Okay, means what all things we have on, uh, on this payload, right? So the first step for this firewall is decrypt. On other firewalls, you may you may find different option, okay? So you can see that if decryption is there, then yes. If no decryption is there, then it will go to this step, okay? So let's say we have decrypted the packet, decrypt and continue moving back to this state. Now, this is your state. Next step. Okay. State, uh, step one is decryption. Once decryption is done, we'll check the connection table. Okay. That is your stateless table. Right. So guys, you know what is connection table? Yes, no. Okay, guys, if you are not uh, able to uh, in speak here, you can drop me a message in chat. I can see it. Okay. So, once your VPN packet gets decrypted, it will move to the next stage, which is stateless inspection. Okay. That is your stateless inspection. Now, your firewall will check, let's say, in this diagram, we have received one packet from here, right? Now, your firewall will check whether we have any uh, ongoing connection, ongoing TCP connection with that server or not, okay? Let me configure some IP address on it. Okay, let's say this server IP address is Um, okay, let's say the server IP address is 8.8.8.8. Okay, now, so my firewall going to check connection table. This is first step. Okay, if you will find a connection is uh, connection is in a state table, then your firewall will keep that entry and it will move to the next step. Okay, so stateless inspection now. If connection not needed, okay, then it will move to the this part that is your secure Excel part. Okay. Now, if you see this packet flow that is divided in uh, the, the first one is when your packet re you received the packet, next is secure Excel, and next after that, you have next phase which is firewall kernel inspection where you are checking firewall policies and firewall connection table matches okay and after that this is your egress interface so just one doubt what, hmm. what is the work of secure excel what is the work of secure excel okay so secure excel uh, at, one, at one of the location i just heard uh, hmm. the tax is informed to disable the secure excel and uh, take the logs so hmm. uh, uh, i was not understanding what is the work of secure excel okay so with secure excel you can see that if i talk about this packet flow only here is your answer okay and now your secure excel contains connection table first thing okay and uh, apart from that uh, means mainly secure excel has your connection table plus few more options uh, That we'll discuss in detail, okay? We'll discuss in detail because uh, after this 
uh, this packet flow will move to secure XL, core X and alone. Okay. So just hold down for for now. Okay. Let let us complete this packet flow. Then I'll answer your query. Okay. Mainly if I if I tell you the main point is this connection table. Okay. This contains a connection table. So if you disable this feature, if you disable your this feature, your firewall not able to process any packet right if connection table is not there definitely your firewall will not process any traffic and so what they tag guys do they temporarily disable this secure excel feature right so that they can take take logs means otherwise if if, if they enable this feature your logs your firewall will keep on generating logs so that would be uh, difficult uh, to take download all the logs right so that would be one situation and i'll i'll think about it means there there might be another reason but this is the main reason as i understand your query okay now acceleration so this is your secure excel part so under secure excel you can see that first step is secure excel connection table match okay so it is going to match the connection table if it matches yes so it goes to here if if the connection is not there then access template match okay and then establish a new connection with that so my connection table going to create a new connection entry for that particular server okay for this server we are talking about this server which is your 8.8.8.8 okay so now once we create an entry there would be some next steps okay access template match drop template match okay now so basically it is matching a template okay so we'll discuss about template as well or you can say connection table in short okay and uh template is one thing under template uh, we are going to define some conditions okay as of now just understand it as a connection table okay now now once we establish a new connection for that user okay now it will move to the next step which is firewall kernel inspection so guys I'm I'm telling you this packet for in short. Okay. In short means if you go to this uh, document and if you read everything, you will you will get the output. So basically I am telling you the summary in my way. Okay. If you want, you can read it in a in a more detailed way. Okay. Uh, like content how content inspection happen inside that. Okay. How sandblast match means because you know. From interview perspective, no one going to ask you inside what is going uh, going inside this, right? But the interviewer will, will ask you a question. Tell me the packet flow for checkpoint firewall. Simple. So simply, you need to answer that question in, in this manner, okay? You need to say that the first step is we have received the packet. Now, if that packet is uh, VPN encrypted, then we are going to decrypt it. After that next step, step three is we are going to check whether connection table uh, uh, under connection table we have connection state or not if connection state is not there then we are going to create your firewall going to create a new connection right after that it will move to next step which is firewall inspection right under inspection we are going to check uh, connection table done okay we are going to match firewall policy now what kind of policies first uh, means security policy basically okay after connection table next step is security policy match if security policy is not matching your firewall will simply discard the packet if security policy matched then it will move to the yes okay then it will uh, just ignore this one okay now 
after that it will perform net policy check so your firewall perform security policy check first so guys in uh, checkpoint uh, this packet flow is different okay in palo alto we perform nat and other checks uh, before security policy check but your checkpoint firewall checking this security policy first so then it is moving to nat policy lookup okay and if there is any destination nat to be performed your firewall perform destination nat or source nat if packet coming from inside to outside then your firewall will perform source nat okay if packet coming from outside to inside that your in that case your firewall perform destination nat right so any question in nat any confusion in that part source net destination net i believe no questions no no not from me okay so that would be your next step now content inspection so content inspection needed yes if not needed we are directly going to skip it and it will check the routing table and forward the forward that packet to a particular destination okay let's not talk about this right now now under content inspection you have so many things now under content inspection you can see that this is your content inspection part okay now we are going to check url dns okay uh, threat cloud means all those profiles like uh, spyware uh, protection uh, anti virus protection maybe you have some url filtering configured okay it is going to check uh, signature okay app control ips ids avi okay so all those kind of checks would be performed under this content inspection okay so these all are part of content inspection right if we find anything means let's say you have found uh, uh, my firewall find some virus on it okay or maybe uh, any infection on any data packet so my firewall simply going to discard that packet then and there okay now you can see that if it uh, it will it will discard the packet okay now once this content inspection done it will move to the next step which says packet forwarding process it means it will move to the egress interface of your firewall now once we move the packet to egress interface the first step is net policy okay sorry routing table it is going to check before uh, before routing table it is going to check net policy okay net policy then routing uh, means from where we want to send this traffic okay so perform this route lookup it is going to check what routes are available okay it means routing table now before we send it to a particular destination your firewall going to encrypt that data packet again okay before we send out from my firewall let's say in this scenario we have received this packet and my firewall performed nat policy checks content inspection all those things now my firewall wants to send it to this user so before sending it to this user my firewall will encrypt that packet again okay and then it will perform my firewall will perform route lookup and the next step is it will transmit the packet okay it will your firewall will transmit the packet after looking at the routing table so guys this is this part is totally opposite of your ingress interface part here you are receiving packet you are decrypting the packet but here you are routing the packet somewhere okay so it means before sending that packet to somewhere we are going to encrypt it simple okay now your other device let's say this user this this device going to decrypt it okay now there is one more scenario let's say this isp uh, is connected with one more firewall let's say that you have one more branch okay so this is firewall 2 
okay so we have tunnel between parable one and parable two okay guys i'll get my pen definitely uh so between parable and one and parable two you have one vpn tunnel so what will happen in that case when packet when firewall will send packet intern for internal user we don't require any vpn encryption so firewall will send this packet in plain text format okay the so same goes for this branch side firewall it will send it will perform encryption decryption on this interface only okay so you can configure your firewall in that way also okay so guys for firewall firewall perspective or interview perspective this is your packet flow okay you need to start from here and you need to end here okay now because you know or interviewer may ask you one more question okay he will directly ask you uh, <clears throat> so yeah i got that question as well uh, in one of the interview uh, he may ask you uh, when uh, whether your firewall uh, first check NAT policy or security policy. Okay, so guys, this is confusing. Okay, if you read uh, FortiGate packet flow, that uh, in that case, your NAT policy lookup will be the first step, and after that, you are going to check the policy. Okay, but here in checkpoint, it is opposite. And in Cisco ASA, that is also different. Okay. In Cisco ASA, first your firewall going to perform NAT lookup, then it is going to check policy. Okay. So that might be different according to the firewall. So always uh, go through with that. Okay. So this is one of the important question guys from my side i always suggest people to go through with that okay now so these are some detailed diagram let's say so someone asking me question about core oh, secure excel right so this packet flow is very simple guys it looks difficult but it is not very difficult So guys, generally, instead of using any kind of book, okay, or a study, uh, this checkpoint study guide, I always open this community.checkpoint.com, okay? I also suggest you to uh, search any topic. If you are facing any issue, you can uh, search any content, like what is IPS, what is how to deploy a policy, getting some error. So because you know these these documents are suggested by uh, checkpoint tech as well they are also going to suggest you this document okay whenever they are explaining you something any question in packet flow guys uh, yes, I have a question. Hmm. Yeah, actually, this is a secure Excel part. Hmm. If the suppose is the uh, document will be sorry, is a firewall table is a content table will be hmm. not matched. Then hmm. why are you come to that uh, final things? Actually, the in between it's also not there, right? It's a firewall kernel inspection will be not there. Suppose if you see secure Excel connection is table. Mm. is is match okay mm. it's a yes then directly come to that uh it's a de decryption part actually the line come directly down to that mm. so don't get confused with the line bro because you know if you see this line see let's say access access template match okay and we establish a new connection now this line goes down okay but here you can see that uh, we have few more processes okay let's say um 
no actually suppose mm -hmm. it's uh, it's getting yes then go to the check the firewall policy and at all but it's directly going to that uh, mm -hmm. decryption bot got it got it means after see don't get confused with the lines okay if i tell you another image okay let me show you another image actually this is the official one right that, that, that we are seeing but if you see any other image like simple image like this one okay you will see everything happen happening on a step by step right uh, okay so you can see that in this image first it is start with okay which is i believe that is wrong okay just, just start with anti spoofing sam database then session lookup policy lookup destination net route lookup source net okay layer 7 encryption routing that is also correct okay so generally everything happening step by step uh, this is because it looks confusing even if i show you this this is your palo alto firewall packet flow right you can see that some lines directly going to this here okay so let me tell you one one more idea behind this line uh, let's say after connection match, there is no security policy match required. Okay. And there is no uh, netting checks required. Why it is happening? Because you have your existing connection. Okay. This would be one condition. If you have existing connection available in connection table, we, your firewall don't ever, uh, ever go and check for security policy and all. Right. Because this is how my stateful firewall inspection works. Right? So, your firewall will simply perform content inspection and it will route the traffic from egress interface. I think this is one of one of one part we can say on that. Okay? If connection is already exist, your firewall will skip policy check, NAT lookup, and it will directly go to con uh, content inspection. And it will, uh, your firewall will send traffic from egress interface after performing uh, encryption and route lookup. It will transmit the packet. This is one answer I can give you because I have gone through with so many uh, packet flows. Okay. So this is one step. But according to this line, I'm not sure. Right. If you want, you can read it, everything in detail. But from interval perspective, I explained everything. Any other question in that? In Secure Excel, we need to enable for uh, something where or it's a hmm. default default thing, secure Excel thing. Secure Excel will discuss in detail. Okay. Don't worry about it because there would be two to three sessions or more than three sessions, three classes we have only on secure Excel. Okay. So don't worry about it. We'll discuss everything. As of now, just focus on content, uh, this packet flow. Okay. Secure Excel, core Excel will go through with everything. Yes, secure Excel perform more action, more actions, but in packet flow, they have uh, shown us everything in short. Okay. Means secure Excel performing only connection table match, but we'll discuss this secure Excel because the secure Excel is part of your CCSE. Yeah. Yeah. Here it is. Okay. So don't worry about it. 
as of now any other question regarding this packet flow no okay and uh, so tomorrow you both you both not available right any other time okay so from packet flow side these all are the things we have okay i would suggest you to at least uh go through with that okay because this is very important to understand everything on this firewall okay and this is very you know, very one of the most important question from interval perspective as well okay because you know, you can see that here we have some question answers why core excel is not in diagram it means that's not a detailed detailed one okay your checkpoint did not shared the complete diagram what is inside their architecture and means they they have shared some general things okay apart from this uh, this these inspection there might might be possible that we have lots of things missing on this packet flow but this is the official site so we can trust on it even if the even if interviewer ask you any question related to that you can simply say that for privacy reasons they have they are they have not included uh, this core excel or this part in detail uh, in this diagram okay you can also say like that because that is something a genuine answer so from packet flow perspective this is all the thing okay the next topic from next class will start with vpn or maybe we'll start with cluster excel we'll start with cluster excel okay later at the end of this course we'll talk about side to side vpn and other vpn okay let's start with ccc now one more recommendation for you guys uh, at least do a quick revision on ccsa so that you will not get stuck somewhere when you are doing ccs okay but yes if you have any general questions definitely i can help you with the, those okay so that's all from to for today from my side